In this video, I'll cover using Hyper Backup to backup data to an S3 compatible object store. We'll use Linode's object storage in this video, and I'll start off by looking at the features of their offering and their pricing as well. I'll then sign into my Linode account and create an object storage bucket, an access key that I'll use with Hyper Backup. Next, I'll create a backup task with Hyper Backup and finally use Hyper Backup's Backup Explorer to access the files saved to the object storage bucket. Let's start by having a quick look at Linode's object storage page and some of the features offered. First off, Linode's object storage is scalable. It starts off at 250 gigabytes at its minimum and can scale up to 50 terabytes. Inbound or uploaded transfers are free, while outbound or downloaded transfers are free up to one terabyte per month. Linode's object storage is highly available with objects replicated across multiple servers. It's S3 compatible, allowing us to use the available S3 backup destination within Hyper Backup. Finally, object storage is a great choice for storing critical files like backup data. As for pricing, the least expensive object storage cluster starts off at $5 and goes up from there. And it's quite affordable compared to other object storage offerings from Amazon and Google, particularly because of the cost of file transfers. If you'd like to learn more about Linode's object storage, have a look at the description below where I've added a couple links for your reference. Now that we've covered some of the features and benefits of Linode's object storage, let's go set things up. I'll log into my Linode account and navigate to object storage. Here, I'll create a bucket and for label, I'll enter in something that is unique and descriptive for my setup. For region, I'll select the Newark, New Jersey option and click Create Bucket. Next, I'll navigate to Access Key and click on the Create Access Key option. I'll enter in a label for the Access Key and click Submit. I'll then come to this screen which displays the Access Key and Secret Key needed to connect to the S3 Object Storage Bucket. When you do this, make sure to keep your information in a safe place. Once you close this window, you won't be able to get your secret key again. I'll note mine down and click OK. We're now ready to set up a backup job using Hyper Backup to the Linode S3 object storage bucket we just created. First, if you haven't done so already, make sure to install Hyper Backup from the Package Center. In my case, Hyper Backup is already installed, so I'll launch it from the main menu. I'll create a new data backup task to start up the backup wizard, and for backup destination, select S3 Storage under the Cloud Service section. Make sure Create Backup Task is selected. For S3 Server, select Custom Server URL. For Server Address, I'll switch over to Linode and copy everything to the right of the bucket name and paste that in. For Signature Version, I found V4 works best, so I'll select that option. Next, I'll enter in the access key and secret key that I saved previously. Now I can select the bucket that I created earlier from the bucket name menu. The last thing to do is enter in a directory name which will be created and used to store the backups within the bucket. Here, I'll select the folder I'd like to backup and click Next. I won't do any application backup, so I'll click Next on this screen. For backup settings, make sure to name the task appropriately and adjust the backup schedule to fit your needs. Also, I'd recommend setting up client-side encryption to make sure your data is encrypted prior to being sent to Linode's object storage. We'll then get this message letting us know that an encryption key will be downloaded, and if we forget the password and lose the encryption key, we won't be able to restore our backup. Make sure to keep your encryption key and password in a safe place, and I'll click Yes to continue. For rotation settings, make sure to adjust the settings to fit your needs. In my case, I'll use the Smart Recycle option that creates hourly versions for the last 24 hours, daily versions for one month, and weekly versions for files older than a month. I'm good with this setup, so I'll click Apply and then Yes to start up the backup task. To view our backed up files, we can use Backup Explorer within Hyper Backup. We'll need to log on with either the password or the encryption key we set up earlier. Once logged in, we can navigate to the version we want and either copy or restore a folder or download a file we'd like to restore. 
To wrap up, backing up to an S3 compatible object store is a great option when using Synology's Hyper Backup. We use Linode as the S3 compatible object storage vendor in this video because of its features and pricing, and I'd recommend using Linode if you wanted to create a similar setup. What do you think about this solution? Have you used an S3 compatible object store for your backups? If so, what other S3 compatible vendors have you used? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Lastly, if this video was informative, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel as well. Thanks so much for watching.